meteorologist Pete Mangione with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, well, it will not be quite as bad as the past couple of Saturdays. Not a perfect day either. Let's get right into it on live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Actually, let's start with a nice picture of Newport. We are looking at some perhaps a little fog drizzle in the background. There are some areas of showers and patchy drizzle moving through. However, this will not be with us the whole day. You can see here from Narragansett Town Beach visibility not perfect, but not terrible either. When the visibility gets really poor, you can't even see this road here. So at least we have that going for us, right? 45 right now in Smithfield. We're 49 in Taunton, 49 New Bedford, 50 in Westerly, 49 in Newport. And get used to these temperatures over the next several hours because these will be our high temperatures for today. Temperatures actually falling during the afternoon. Now the winds will be picking up as well. They're not too bad right now if you're heading out over the next hour or two. Five miles an hour, Smithfield, seven Providence, six to Newport, ten on Block Island. But as some colder air moves in overhead and we get a little bit of sun later on this morning and this afternoon, that will help to stir up the atmosphere and bring in some of those gustier winds. Satellite picture is showing the showers and downpours from last night now pushing offshore. So here is some of that lingering drizzle I was just mentioning. This is much lighter though. And how about this? Some snow wrapped up around the center of low pressure. We're not going to get snow here, but this does show you that yes, this cooler air mass will be moving in our direction that will help knock down our temperatures into the afternoon. So that's why, you know, normally you'd be looking at this map and the temperatures would actually be warmer than they are right now. But instead, these numbers are actually cooler than the temperatures we're seeing right now, down to around 44 this afternoon in Charlestown, 44 in Hope Valley, and it will feel even colder courtesy these winds from the northwest at around 10 to 15 with some gusts 30 to 40 possible. Now we did have a wind advisory that was issued for our area last night for today that has since been canceled, but it's still going to be a busy day with those breezes. So just keep that in mind. If you're heading out, you're going to want that jacket because again, the feel like temperature is colder than these numbers indicate around 43 for a high in West Greenwich and our high temperatures in Alboro and Seekonk, or I should say our afternoon temperatures in Alboro and Seekonk into the mid forties, 45 Fall River and 45 in Westport. All right, Julianne just mentioned the water fire going on this evening. You certainly want the layers in the jacket for that because once that sun sets, which of course is now before 5 p.m., it gets very cold by 6 p.m., which I believe is right after the lighting. We're down to 39 degrees and then getting close to the freezing mark the later we go into the night. So even the hat and the gloves, not a bad thing to bring with you if you are out and about for water fire tonight. And then low temperatures should bottom out around 30 degrees in the capital city. Still breezy, not quite as windy as this afternoon, but still winds from the west at 5 to 15 with some gusts around 25. So the feel like numbers tonight could go down into the low 20s. And uh, that is something to definitely keep in mind if you're out late on the Saturday night. Now on Sunday, you can see it's a chilly start and we only get to 44 degrees on Sunday afternoon for Veterans Day despite the sunshine, but at least we do get sunshine for Veterans Day, so we don't have to worry about rain or washouts or anything like that. But notice how temperatures really struggle through the 30s around 8 o'clock in the morning and top out at around 43 degrees at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Monday is okay with a temperature of uh, 48 degrees. And then Tuesday, here we go again, another Tuesday soaker. Now, there's a flood warning right now for the Patuxent River near Cranston. Some minor flooding possible, but we're going to have to keep a closer eye on the river situation for Tuesday because, you know, we've had a lot of rain lately. A lot of those rivers are already swollen, and that Tuesday rain situation could actually be more than what we had last night. So that is something to definitely keep an eye on as we head towards the middle of the week. But remember, Election Day, Julianne, right. on Tuesday we had the rain, and it looks like we will do it again this coming Tuesday. Looks like we're swapping our rainy Saturdays for rainy Tuesdays now. Yes. So a little bit of a trade going on. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. Yep. All right, let's head over to the Tech Center now where pinpoint traffic reporter Melissa Sardelli has your